Okay, pilots, after about two months here, I finally got my front gear. Now this is the front gear for the FMS Avante S version three. This is the FMS Viper 70 millimeter. Okay, now I'm sure, I, I don't know, but I, I hadn't seen one up close, but maybe an E-flight might be the same way. But it was just a drop-in fit, pilots. A drop-in fit. I hadn't done nothing. Didn't do one thing. All I done was took the screws out of the original one. Took the steering. Well, I'm wrong. I'm going to have to cut my cover right here. Where that's going to be open right there. My arm's a little bit higher, so it's going to be cut maybe right here in a round area. Let's see what it does. Uh oh, I'm hitting the side. Right here. Hitting the side. Let me hold that right there for a second. Yep. I'm gonna have to do a little shaving right here on this side. It is hitting right there. Let me get that back up a sec. See where that's hitting. Yep. Right along the edge right there. And that's all. As a matter of fact, I could. Go ahead and tighten these here. Maybe I'll take that off of that. I like to leave them loose a little bit so they'll move around in case it hits something. You know, give, it, give it a little flexibility here. But it, I mean, it was a drop in. All right. Now on the rear mains, I'm going to show you that after... I get this finished up here. See what I gotta do. Gotta make a round area for my steering arm. And I bet you if I get this tight, it's not gonna hit that side no more. seem worse <laughs> it's just wanting to go over there for some reason maybe that rod let me see here let me do that let me let, let me loosen that and do a little adjustment there pulling it out there so let's see here The servo lead was the same length. Didn't have to worry about that. Okay. Yep, we want to cut that little spot out there for that one. A little square right here. And a round area right here. What are we going on there, too? Might have to put a little Vaseline in that hole. Okay, pilots, after two months, I finally got my gear in. <laughs> I don't know, pilots. It, 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 it's, it's just, that's the way it's just going to be, I guess, for a little while. I'm going to show you what I'm going to have to do to my mains here.
right here where I've got this board out for the gear to go down into the bay. Well, the, the Viper's already got a weak spot right here in between the corner of the, the flap and the, and the uh, gear bay. So I'm gonna take some Pepsi bottles and maybe cut some slits, maybe two of them and glue them together and glue them inside here where to reinforce that area here and here. And I think I'll do it, Pops. A little bit of, I had to do a little bit of opening it up right here. And you've seen what I've had to do here. That was FMS Viper. And like I said, I don't know, but it, the E-Flight Viper could be the same way with the Evante S 70 millimeter version three landing gear. I'm out.